Regression analysis is a technique for using data to identify relationships, variables, and the use of those relationships to make predictions. Supervised learning means that the training data has labels. For instance, predicting the price of a house is a regression problem, whereas predicting whether tumor is malignant or benign is a classification problem. So let's look at the linear regression theory. So the term linearity in algebra means a linear relationship between two or more variables. So linear regression performs the task to predict a dependent variable y based on a given independent variable x or variables x1, x2 to xn. So linear regression is uh, represented by y is equal to constant plus x times it is coefficient plus an error term. Mathematically, linear regression is uh, represented using this equation where y is the dependent variable, the beta is a constant, which is usually the y-intercept, x is the independent variable, and it has a coefficient here plus the error term. So linear regression gives us the most optimal value for the intercept and the slope. So you can see uh, graphically how the algorithm works. So there is data and then it fits a straight line through the data and that this is the prediction line. When we're talking about multivariate linear regression, so it's the same concept, it's only that now we add more variables. In real life, you may find that the independent variables are not just one. You'll have more than one independent variables. For example, if it's the price of the house that you want to predict, the price of that house will be dependent on the location of the house, you know, the number of rooms of the house, you know, the materials used, and so on. And so, on. so those are multivariables. Therefore, we call it multivariate. And this is the formula that you can use for multivariate linear regression. So let's quickly look at the residuals. When you fit a straight line in between the data, there are data points which will fall along that line and there are others which are going to be away from that line. So the distance from a data point to the fit line is what we call the residual. So our algorithm will try to minimize that distance because the further a point is from the fit line, the less accurate our model is going to be. And therefore, we want to fit a line, calculate the best fit and be able to fit that line into our data and make sure that the residuals are as less as possible. So that is just a graphical representation of uh, the residuals. And what are the uses of linear regression? So we can use linear regression for trend prediction, a determination of predictor strength or the strength of the variables or the factors which affect, you know, a dependent variable. And also we can uh, use linear regression to determine the effect of prediction.